So now we're going to take a look at the back of the bird. So we're going to start all the way up here, so technically the head, um, and we've got the crown, and then that goes into the nape. So the crown is kind of like a cap, then the, the nape is this hood that kind of comes around here. And then we're going to go down a little bit further and this across the top of the back is the mantle. So this section here is the mantle. And then we've actually got, we've got some feather damage here. So I think when this bird actually died, um, I think it lost these feathers in the process. And what it's actually done is it's revealed some of the underlying structure of the feathers. So these feathers underneath, or more to the point, the, the bits that are hidden underneath of each feather are actually quite fluffy, they're, they're hair-like. It's the same part, same feather that finishes off with the visible bit down here, but above it is, is all the fluffy stuff. If I, if I raise up the feathers above this, you can see that they're all the same. So that comes down, we've got, so the mantle, goes into the rump. So this part, there's a transition around this damage, damaged area that goes into the rump. And then finally, at the end of the rump, we have these upper tail coverts. So interestingly, like if, if you look at the tail here, you've got two components of the tail. So the this left and right side uh, are slightly separate with this one over here. Um, and above that is the uh, the coverts, and these coverts are also in on separated into sides. And if I just put this underneath, you can see that they're in like a double V shape, which is uh, quite interesting. And the other thing to note: so we've gone from head all the way down to the tail, and these are the tail feathers. Um, there's some extra ones just on the side here. I've covered these before, so these are the scapulars, and the scapulars are an important part of the, the streamlining of the bird, so that when the bird's flying, the scapulars bridge the gap between the mantle and the wing, and I might be able to open up the wing slightly here, but the bit that stays kind of fairly stationary in this process are these feathers here, these ones here, and they originate all the way up here by the shoulder and their purpose is to bridge the gap between the back and the wing so that it's always smooth. So as this wing flaps, this section ends up always deforming to, to make a transition between the back and the wing. So that's quite important for, for both flight and when the, the wings kind of tucked in to the bird's side. This curls round with the wing and you end up with a nice transition from the back to the, to the wing. So just to reiterate, we've got the crown, that goes into the, the nape, so this hood, and that nape is the bit that when the neck stretches, um, that's the bit that's pretty much all all ruffled up there's there's lots of layers here so when the neck pulls forward this starts to kind of spread out and reveal itself and then that goes into the mantle which is the kind of the bit across the back the upper back and then that transitions into the rump and then down to the upper tail coverts and then the tail <laughs>